Okay, I got this mirror. It's a eight inch F6. I've had it for a while, and I know how it. I I took it down to Del Mar and tested it on the um, Dick Parker's autocollimator. I know it's slightly overcorrected. Even on YouTube, I have a star test of it, and you can see it's a nice mirror, though. At least I thought it was until I tested it again today and did a little bit more. Here's a Ronke. You can see everything's upside down because I shoot through an eyepiece. So everything, um, you can start to see a little bit a turn right here, like a zone, a ring zone, right? I didn't re remember that. And outside, you can see a little bit of pinching right here and then and verified by a little hook out there. So, uh, oh yeah, what was I trying to do? I was trying to use the Ronke at the as a knife edge, or let me see, was it right over here? I was trying to get the Ronke as a knife edge. Let me see if there's any stick. Yeah, look at that. It's going this direction. Uh, let's go on that. All right. So anyway, the point is because I was trying to just ju uh, judge the correction with my Ross Null lens, and here I'm outside the radius of curvature, and it's almost very very straight. Just maybe a little bit, but you can see the widening of the the very last zone or the edge, right? And if anything this line curves like this and that's outside that means overcorrection and inside with the Ross now you can see the edge dip so I think that's where mostly all the overcorrection is coming from otherwise it looks pretty um, good and but when I put the outside and then when I put the um, yeah, the Ronke grading, like at focus, like so I get it blocked out. You could start to see a ring zones, like one right there, one right there. And I was like, oh, snap. I wasn't, I thought this was a lot smoother than that because even in the um, autocollimation, I didn't do a shadow test like this. I just did Ronke and it looked very smooth, like no zones popping out kind of like this. There's not really many zones popping out with the Ross Snell. Now over here you could at the eyepiece you could start to see a little bit right there. But I didn't notice anything right in the center. But when I did the Ross Snell you could see very clearly popping out right there, right there and some shadow on the edge. Let me see. Do I do it better? Yes, I do. Oh. Did it again. Oh, and then I see, and then I move the lens to see if it will exaggerate the zones, and it doesn't. So, it actually is hard to null the zone with the lens set at the wrong setting. So that's another way it's self-regulating the Ross Null, setting the lens to um, knife source. But you can see the zones over here, over there, very subtle. And so then I put the knife edge on and to see if it was if you could see it just as much with the knife edge and they're not as pronounced I believe you can see a little bit like right here and maybe something right there but it's not as pronounced there compared that to to where is it uh, there you can definitely see this and definitely see that 
and then you come over here and it just looks a little bumpy I thought it was I thought I remember this being smoother it gets good views of Jupiter at around one exit pupil so I mean a lot of detail it's a nice mirror it's just I thought it was smoother but it's definitely nicely corrected just a little bit over all right knife edge and then Ross Null where is it uh, there I think that's more prominent because this is like you're making a sphere and with a knife edge and you can see how the zones pop out it's not all the way flat all the way across and I'm just using a one rocky band as a knife edge for this you see that shadow boom and you see it starts to go there you can see it again right there prominent a highlight right here shadow Highlight flat. Highlight flat shadow. I guess that's it. All right. Now we go fix it. <laughs> 